Hey guys, welcome back to Creep Subnautica Below Zero Edition Episode 3. So, if you guys haven't seen the last two episodes of this new series, uh, be sure to check them out down in the description. I will put links. Um, so, in the last episode, we were right where I'm at right now. In the Lily Sport uh, biome. So, yeah. Uh, I'm not going to show you anything about it. I just want you to uh, to know, if you haven't seen it, to go check it out. It's episode 2. Lily Pad Base. That's pretty cool. But anyway, the reason why I'm here, instead of at the proper base that I'm going to show you, is because I built a really long connection all the way down in the spore base that runs all the way up here, and I connected the two bases together. And here is the connection right here, as you can see, spore base. So if we click down, okay, so it's very topsy twisty turvy to get down because it was very tricky building, but it does go all the way down and it completely is attached. You could argue that it's one long base, or you can argue that's two bases. I say it's both. So anyway, uh, we just did a major drop down. We're at. Uh, depth 238 so keep going keep going through all these corridors like I said it's very top to twisty turvy as you can see why it would be because it's very hard to build through all the different routes and um, things so keep going down still going down and down and down and now we're getting closer to the spore bomb you can see by the color change here we are depth 380 core base keep going um, keep going this way we're almost there guys <laughs> I like making these kinds of connections and just about there one more and we should be yep depth 472 meters this is the spore base so welcome to my crib my spore base crib like I said we are in the spore biome and um, I have a base to show you, so let's get on with it. So come through here. Oh, I, I just love it. Like, look, see how, why it would be so topsy twisty turvy. Yeah, that's because it was. It was really hard to build up and through, and all the way out up to the top of a lily pad. So, yeah. So basically, the start. Welcome to Spore Base. Here we have the crafting room to start. Crafting room. Have all the stuff, you know, two chargers, fabricator, all the different um, stuff that crafting room needs. Obviously, you need a desk in your crafting room. Um, and you also need a fish tank. You need a fish tank in every room. I would love a fish tank in every room. Man, you guys, fish tanks, though, are very, very 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 hard to upkeep <laughs> so what we're going to do so obviously as you see the docking bay or aka moon pool is that way what we're going to do is we're going to go that way and then we're just going to work our way around so let's go I really like the spore base because of all the well the spores those glowy things in the water are really cool come through here just your basic uh, moon pool just a few lockers and um box for some music. <laughs> uh, here we have the control and the scan room together. You can check your power status, the time, structural integrity, all the things you need to know. Scan room, like look, see how where we came from, like and why it would be so difficult because we came all the way down there. <laughs> crazy. Kinda crazy that how we extended all the way through um, all the way down from the, the upper lily pads down all the way down here. So you come through here, as you can see, mess hall is through here. And again, I just love the views down here. It just seems cozy. <laughs> the only thing that's creepy down here is, spoiler alert, uh, the tentacle things that grab you. Mess hall. And again, it's just your just a petite mess hall, food, water, uh, get your coffee or tea, sit down, 
have a cup some awesome views right here sink water fridge grab some snacks and if we go down to the power room central to every base um, and we have some desks in here where they can keep an eye on the monitor the levels uh, just use your imagination think of those picture frames as computer screens <laughs> that's what I do uh, so then if we go down go down to sick bay um, and I tried to make sick bay like I say every time in every episode I try to make it as best I can to seem like a sick bay because there's no like medical kit fabricators which I wish there was um, but like yeah I have like two beds for resting you know the physician's desk and lots of decorations because I figured when you're trying to recover the best medicine is R&R &R and plants and music I truly believe music can heal or music can help heal so different frequencies and whatnot anyway come through here and as you saw this is the containment sector so this whole entire each one of these rooms these large rooms it's all about having our containment like that's the main thing so it's basically like one giant rec room slash hangout slash whatever room just enjoying the view come in yeah rec room listen to music grab some coffee grab some snacks come in and sit so here we have our rec room come and sit down and just enjoy the show enjoy the views ah just peaceful down here there's different you know places where you could sit you could come sit here ooh this is actually a nice spot very nice spot so anyway yeah I tried to make it you know very decorated and also there's some cool views basically cool views no matter where you look um, so let's go up to the second floor and here we have just another like different kind of viewing room you know there's different stuff in different orders um, so this one's probably my favorite level because you can see down and up this peaceful just come in here while you're resting and just watch everything peaceful um, so yeah, I, I didn't have much in the way of decorations, so it pr probably looks the same as the the bottom floor. But I tried to make it a little bit different, like at least the order of things. So we come to the last floor. This last floor is more of an office observatory. So the two, bottom two floors are for you know uh, people who aren't actually working and doing um, like monitoring things. Um, so people come up here, work on the stuff, keep an eye on things like that. Um, and yeah, so come in and sit here. Oh, this is the best spot right here. Right here's the best spot. See, so yeah, come in, work, do your job, go down, relax, grab some snacks some drinks um, but like I said I made this whole entire this whole entire thing just for uh, oh yeah it's really cool I made this whole thing just for the containment essentially and I built around that um, and here you can see like all different views of my base so there's that Go down. Oh, okay. <laughs> down. And, uh, alright, so that's the whole containment sector. And continuing on, come on through to this uh, first tower that we started, except for we didn't get the bottom levels. Here we have, like, a meeting room. Conference room, debriefing room, whatever you want to call it. Again, I tried to work with the decorations that I had. So, 
did. I forgot to decorate that plant. Oh well. Power room for this side of the base. Again, I went with the whole like, you know, monitoring desks where you can keep on the levels of the reactors and try to make it all spruced up. Well, we, we go up again. We're back at the uh, crafting room. And then that way leads back to the lily base. Upper lily base. Now, I just want to go through here with you guys real quick. I'm in here. I'm out here. We have a lovely little garden. Try right, to uh, plant all my favorites. And it's just really cool being out here. I just really like being out here. Here we have like the crafting grow bed. It has all the stuff needed for different materials. Crafting materials. And then this one is for food. So it is a pretty cool biome to build in, you guys. My only thing, my only warning to you guys is um, to be careful of the tentacles that will grab you in this zone. I've already had like a few different jump scares where I'm just swimming along, gathering resources or doing something, and it grabs me and it, ugh, just creepy. But here's like an, an overview of the whole entire base. I have to be careful because again I'm I'm in screenshot mode, but I am playing a hard course, so I don't want to run out of air. Let me just check real quick. Okay. Um so yeah, you guys. This is my spore base. So I'm just giving you a couple of views. A couple more views of around the entire base. Oh, and watch out for that guy too. He likes to drug people. It'll drug you. It's all trippy. Pretty much harmless though, just very trippy. So to end this base video, we showed, showed you everything. Uh, I'm going to walk back up and show you how we get back up. I mean, obviously it's the same as how we got back down, but <laughs> I want to show you like if you're starting here, I want to show you the journey. I think going up is the faster journey. So. Say bye bye, you guys, to the spore biome. It's a pretty nifty uh, area to build in. It was pretty fun to build. So, way up to the lily base, let's go. So, like I said, this way is way faster. Because you could just, well, <laughs> not get stuck like I just did. <laughs> All turned around. Like I said, it was so super difficult to build. Like, it doesn't look like it. But uh, maybe I'll get out. That's how we'll end it. Yep. I'll get out and show you the connection. That will be good. And I even put a, a way to get out there. So this essentially is from, you can kind of see it. That's this, the lily base right up here. And now we're in the lily base. So I'll show you real quick. Well, I have to keep my air or keep an eye on my air. So, as you can see, this took me a long, long while to build. There we are, 386 uh, meters away. You're like, oh, that's not too far. It's far when you consider, like, all the topsy twisty turviness and, like, see how tight, tight spaced it is, and, like, see how I had to build a T compartment here because of the root. That's why I couldn't do, like, a sh complete straight shot. And if I keep going down here, like again, see where I had to where I had to build a compartment here to clear the wall of this, the walls. So and then again down, then here, see, this is where I would have gotten stuck. And like, oh, there's a big old wall in the way. So that's another straight shot down, and then over to here. And this is where I couldn't go any further here. So I did build the T compartment out going that way. Down again. You see what I mean though? Like how it's so like it was so hard to build. But I am it was worth it. In the end, making this base for you guys is worth it because it turned out really cool, I think anyway. And uh, the connection, it's really cool that you could just walk. And there we are. See? Right there. It's my spore base. You just walk down. You don't have to worry about swimming or anything. 
and we're back in the spore base so guys just want to say again thank you so much for watching be sure to check out my other um cribs videos i have a whole series crib subnautica um you know regular subnautica and then i have a new series going for below zero which i have this is the third episode so i plan to do 10 at least 10 episodes so guys i would love it if you subscribe i put videos out every day i'm trying to make better content for you guys i'm trying my hardest to do more editing to do more um you know varied videos after subnautica we have a few more games lined up let me know what kind of games you want to see or if you like my other series which is the first impression series uh let me know down in the comments uh you know any and all feedback i will be willing to listen so thank you guys so much hope you have a good evening morning night wherever you're at and uh, as always ttfn tata -ta for now have a good one guys see you later bye bye